Rom- Romans 5, verse 11, talks about something so wonderful. Contagious joy. For it says, We also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Now, firstly, a question. Is your joy contagious? If not, there may be a spiritual reason. Caleb Ministries, November the 9th, and it is Wednesday. Now, the problem is a lot of Christians have is mentally believing the coming glory without emotionally embracing it. It remains a mind principle, not a heart faith. You you may have noticed that academic understanding doesn't bring us any sense of joy. Only a deeply held belief in the heart can do that. We are made joyful not by the things we comprehend, but by the things we treasure. Secondly, true joy sees the whole picture. So, the question remains, is your joy contagious? Are the promises of God the treasures of your heart? If they are, nothing can quench your faith. If we really know and fully believe all the promises of God in Christ, the thought of His glory, His kingdom, and His peace will bring spontaneous songs of praise to our mouths. When we realize what we have, joy abounds. True joy sees the whole picture. The reality behind the appearance, the truth behind the facts, is based on eternal blessings. And then thirdly, application. Adjust your thought pattern. If you struggle with Uh, discouragement and depression, consider the truth. God's promises are more real than anything you see. Any circumstantial assault on your senses or any lie your mind or anyone else tells you, the Spirit of God is not limited by your circumstances today or the people around you. But your own thought patterns guard them well. If you do, joy can thrive in your life and it can spread to everyone and anyone around you. I pray. Dear Lord, my God, you know everything about me. I need you to help me to set my thought patterns in order. For I ask you in Jesus' name, Amen.